Hi guys, as uh, promised, here's my next tutorial on uh, Excel database programming and uh, in this uh, tutorial we're going to show you how to read the data that you wrote to your databases. Um, <coughs> you see on the screen I've already typed the code in here, that's just really to save time and to hopefully uh, save me stalling as I type and make mistakes. So uh, I'm going to go through it and again explain things to you as I go through. Um, you're recognize most of this is pretty much consistent with the code that we've created in our previous tutorials um, the the command here really that does the business in the database is this one here which is our what we call our query and we are selecting some values in our table and then we're going to read them out um, into a record set and then we're going to copy the record set into our spreadsheet right so there's the spreadsheet there's nothing in there at the moment um, I've created a uh, fun uh, a procedure within a module as usual to add a module right click in your project window insert module and again to make reference to the database ActiveX component um, within Excel you have to actually add a reference to it so you go to tools reference and then make sure you add the Microsoft ActiveX data objects X dot X library okay now I've got six but whatever version you're running you obviously need to select the latest okay once you've got that done, uh, you create your procedure by typing sub and a name, hit enter, and it will actually create the opening and closing um, text of the subroutine for you, and then start typing. Okay, so first thing we do is we dimension our, con our connection to our database object, which is an Adobe, Adobe DB.connection. Okay, to get that up, you just type a well, actually, let me get rid of it and do it for you. Show you it's pretty obvious what it goes on. There you go. A D O D B. Okay, so tab to select that dot and then connection. Okay, so just follow that sequence for the rest of these. So you need a um, a record set. So I've called my record set R S T. Dime R S T is new record set. Dime S T R connect string. Again, you can call these. Uh, parameters here anything you like you don't have to call it CNTs or OSTs you can call it what you like okay but what you do have to stick to is this convention here so that is an Adobe DB dot connection record set string and string okay the query QRY is a query it's going to hold our query string this is going to hold our connection string which is the uh, description of the database type and the data source which is going to be in temporary where we, where we well where you stored yours I stored mine in my C temp directory and I called it test.mdb and you can see that down here so um, further on into the code here you can see that we've actually assigned this connection string to um, our declaration here for the connect string and we've saying the provider is Microsoft Ollie DB version 4 and the data source is in the C directory um, I do not think actually we can get rid of this and backslash okay we can get rid of all of that we don't need this in here either look we can prettify this a little bit okay uh, maybe maybe we can't <laughs> there, what do I um, get rid of that Get rid of all of that. Put the semicolon back in. There you go. That's more like it. Right. Um, and then our query string here is constructed of a select statement, which is a SQL select statement. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much uh, explicit to SQL. And then we're going to what we're actually saying here is um, we're asking SQL um, to select uh, a a value from um, our table. Uh, which we called our R table, so it's table R table, and then we're pointing to the product name, um, <coughs> excuse me, column. Okay, so this is the name that appears on the top of the column, product name. We put it in brackets because we've got a space in there, and if we didn't put the brackets on there, then the thing would probably have a fit. Um, comma, actually, I'll show you. No, we'll come back to that. Uh, comma, table, product ID, table, price each. Okay, so these are all the same. The only difference is obviously the header names for our columns. And if you remember from our example that we uh, did in our, when we created our database, these were the names that we gave to our three um, three columns. Okay, and then following on from that, we actually say f we're selecting that from our table. Okay, so select product name, product ID, price each from our table. Okay, and then assign all of that string to the query string, 
Uh, next thing we do here is we clear our spreadsheet if there was anything on there, um, which is not fortunately, but if there were, then that would clear the whole spreadsheet. Next thing we need to do is we open up our database. So we use our database point object here, which we declared up here, as you can see. Um, and then inside of that, you have an open procedure, and then you pass it your constructor. Okay, so which is here, Good connection string. Okay. That will open the database, assuming it exists, which I'm sure it does. Um, uh, if you've done the uh, your job right, as you uh, as you were uh, shown to in the previous tutorial, and then the next line is we open up our record set, and which is pretty much the same format as the uh, as when we open the database. Um, however, this time you pass in it your query, um, and you also pass it um, the address of the database that you've opened okay um, and then what happens is uh, this will return um, the data from the query okay into the record set and then this next line here this bit here actually points to the range b3 d3 on your spreadsheet okay so if you look at your spreadsheet here b3 is here c d3 okay so that's the range b3 through d3 so that's where this data is going to go Okay, and then copy from record set is just a uh, procedure built into Excel which actually um, automates the copying of data from the record set for you. So it speeds things up a little bit, it's quite handy. Um, it only works, I believe, from Office or Excel 2000 onwards. Okay, um, and then you pass it your record set. Okie dokie, so let's drag our little window down a bit. Let's put some random rubbish in here for the moment so you can see things working. And then what we'll do is we'll step through here with F. Eight. Okay, so create our connection string, create our query string, clear the sheets. You can see now that data is all gone. Open the database, uh, open the query, okay, and then paste the data into our range. Okay, and if you look up here, you can see my data, which I which I put into the database earlier using the very same procedures that we wrote in our earlier tutorial. Okay, one thing I want to do before I go is to show you how to filter this data. So at the moment you can see everything comes out of the database and you might not want that. You want to might filter on just cats, for example. So what I'm going to do is uh, add uh, another line to my database. Um, so uh, I'm going to drag over a spreadsheet here, which is the create database spreadsheet we created in an earlier tutorial. And I'm going to put cats again. Um, this time we're going to put another uh, name in here, a product name, for example, A234. F and a different price here. We'll call this one three forty-five. Okay, and then we'll hit our button. <laughs> database exists. Do we want to delete? No. And now that should have put that into the database. Okay, so we'll get this spreadsheet out of the way. We'll go back to our tutorial. We'll hit play again. We shall clear all of this data, and it will update with the latest table uh, data. Okay, as you can see, it has done. Cats, cats appears twice now. Um, so the next thing we want to do is go to the end of our query line here. Okay, and if you feel a bit uncomfortable about doing this, you don't want to break your query line, just copy, control C, control V, make a copy of it, and then comment one out so you've got a backup. Okay, go to the end of the query, and then just before the semicolon, type in where, capitals, I don't think it has to be capitals actually, but I like to stick with capitals, it makes it uh, quite clear what the, uh, um, what commands are what. So where space okay, and then we have to put in here the thing we're going to filter on. In our case, it's going to be the uh, cat name, which is over here product ID. So just copy table our table product name, okay, and stick that at the end here, okay. And we want to say filter when the product name is equal to cats, okay. So you put a single comma in here, type in cats single comma, okay. And now what this is going to do is it's going to pull out of our table the product name, the product ID and the price, but it's only going to pull out that data where um, the product name is equal to cats. Okay, so if we run this now, it clears the data and as you can see it's just put cats on the screen. Okay, so that's quite handy. Um, in another tutorial um, I'm going to build a navigation tool so that you can actually navigate through your or show you how to navigate through your uh, through your database and pull things out. Okay, um, but ultimately what uh, my uh, objective is going to be is to create a, a kind of a mini database where you can add um, items to the spreadsheet um, using a form, a uh, pop-up form, um, and then it'll save that to the database. Um, and then when you want to view that, you view it to the spreadsheet. Okay, uh, but we'll go into that later on. Okay, anyway, until then, take care. Bye-bye.